Happy Saturday, it's Mary Beth again. How many of you have a pair of these at home? These are my favorite summer shoes because I hate having my feet be trapped in socks or heavy shoes. So as soon as I get home, I kick those off and I put on a pair of flip flops. And it feels good to get those heavy shoes off my feet. Now there are a lot of good things about flip flops, but there are some bad things as well. For example, how clean are your feet after you wear flip flops all day? I love to wear flip flops when I'm camping and by the end there's only one clean part and it's underneath the little strap here and the rest of my feet are covered in dirt. In Jesus' time they didn't have shoes or socks and everyone who could afford shoes was wearing sandals. So can you imagine back in those days when all the roads were dirt and there was lots of um, outdoor spaces how dirty their feet might be at the end of the day? So whenever they went over to someone's house, the servant's job was to wash everybody's feet before they came in the house to clean off all the dirt that they had picked up from walking around and going throughout all the day things that they did. Do you think there were many servants volunteering for that job? Would you like to clean everybody's feet when they came over to your house? Can you imagine your principal of your school or the mayor of Tucson getting down and cleaning everybody's feet before they came into a meeting? It's hard to imagine, but there was one very important person who did want to volunteer for that job, and his name was Jesus. Jesus loved to wash people's feet because it showed that he was willing to be a servant for other people, and it showed that he was not better than anybody, and he was willing to do a job that people thought was kind of a low job at the time. So even though he was the King of Kings and the Son of God, he was still showing everybody that he could be a servant to others and help be of service to them as well. So what are ways that you can be a servant to other people in your life? You may not want to wash everybody's feet, but there are some simple things that you can do to show other people that you are willing to do something out of your way to help them. So I challenge you this week to come up with some ideas of ways you could help your family or your friends and show them that you could be a servant just like Jesus was and spread God's love in that way.